Hello guys, my name is Ramon Banda and this demo is on a custom activity package for test report generator that's been developed for UiPath Power Up Automation Hackathon. So this package basically contains two custom activities that's dependent on one another and should be used together. These activities are start and end test. Start test activity defines the start of the test and end test activity defines the end of the test. Each test is your one XAML workflow. You can use this activity for your test automation development or integrate within your existing test automation framework. If you are using UiPath Studio as your test automation tool, then you may be having hundreds of tests defined where these activities may come useful for your reporting needs. At the end of the execution, it generates an HTML report and an XML report as well that contains all the details of your test execution. Make sure that you follow the steps to use these activities. It starts with a start test activity with the status set to started. Then there is a try catch block where try block contains your whole test validation sequence. Catch block should contain an end test activity with status set to failed. At the end there is another end test activity with status set to passed. You can set the scenario name for each of your test as well. You can also set test case name. If you don't provide the name, then it would take the workflow name by default for reporting. You can use your own naming convention for status fields as well. These are the steps to follow that I just explained. Few things to remember. Consider each of your workflow as an independent test for ease of reporting and structure. For each of your tests, do not forget to include start test and end test activity along with try catch block. Finally, do not forget to set the status for your activities, otherwise it may give you an inappropriate result. Thank you and let's move on to the demo. Let's see the demo. Uh, I have already created a project here. I have 10 independent workflows here and each of them is considered as an independent test. There is one main workflow which invokes all of them one after another. Let me show you one of the workflow and see how the custom activity works. As you can see here, the start test activity is the first thing in the workflow with status set to started. There is a try catch block following the start test activity. All your test validation uh, sequences goes within this try, try catch block. So there is an end test activity within the catch block uh, with status status set to failed. There is another end test activity right after the try catch block at the end of the workflow with status set to passed. Basically, this is how it works. When the workflow is executed, start test will first set the status to started and then goes within the try catch block and runs the test validation sequence. If there is an exception, then the end test activity within the catch block will set the status to fail. If sequence validation is completed successfully, then the last end test activity is executed and the status is set to passed. So this is how uh, all the test works here. Uh, I have three of this test which should fail. So let's execute it and see the results. Okay, so the execution is completed now. As you can see, uh, there is two results. One is an XML document and another one is an HTML. So XML contains all the test details in XML format. So you will find all your test results here, which you can use for any other purposes if you want. And then there is this HTML report. So all your test execution details are here. As I mentioned, three of my test is failing, and other seven are passed. So total number of tests ten, failures three. 7 and the execution date is today that is 3rd of August 
in the execution time is to total of 22 seconds to execute that one is your part and the success rate is 90 percent so you you need to remember a point that uh, as much as if you keep on executing um, your workflow again without clearing this report then it will keep on appending to the same xml and html 